does um, a thousand impressions and your website comes up you know, a thousand times and ten people click on it, that's your, your ratio. And eBay does exactly the same thing. Does that make sense? Yeah. So, but the thing with scarcity is, is we go on there and we say, okay, this item sold 140 times, um, but there's over 10 in stock, so we go, well, we might not buy it right this moment, we'll, do, we'll buy it tomorrow. So that's, for eBay it's great, for the human aspect it's bad. So what you can do to trick it is you can go in and you can just change the amount that's still there. So let's say that everyone buys a particular item one at a time, change it to two or three. And people say, okay, 140 sold and there's only two remaining. Oh my God, I better buy it. And that... <laughs> Sorry? Uh, well, then you yeah, that's the problem. You've got to start again. So you've got to look at how many you should list. If it's a fast-selling item, um, you might want to keep five. But the lower you put it, the more you'll sell. We've had huge results by doing this. If Scarcity. I, if I release that particular listing, will, will I get um, the ranking plus, plus the previous one? The no, if, you're, if, if it sells out, that's it. You've lost all your history. And also the ranking. Also the ranking. In yes, you've, you've lost it. So it's a catch-22. Um, very shortly, we will have software out that will repopulate it six seconds after it sells. So stay tuned. Yes. I'll let you know. Um, probably about three or four weeks. So, but you can do it manually for now, but you just got to be a bit careful about, you know, putting enough in that's going to sell. So if you're going for the whole weekend, you know, but it, it makes a big, 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 big difference. Doing that, scarcity and best offer, which I haven't got to yet, can double your sales. We've said it many, many times. Okay, I'll get to best offer shortly. Markdown manager. Um, that's putting stuff on sale. It puts stuff on sale without butchering the market price. So if something's selling, you know, if you got it for $100, you can run a sale 5% off, 10% off, whatever. And it still keeps a high perceived value. You can, you can run it for six days. So you can sell it on, on a Monday, expire Sunday. Because generally Sundays, you know, depending on what your product you're selling, you might get the most sales on a Sunday night. You can make it expire on Sunday night. So people say your sale is expiring on Sunday night. Better buy it night now. Then on Monday, you can renew it for another six days. It's a great way of moving product without going and changing the, the market price. Because once you put the market price down, then of course you're losing your margin. Um, all right, best offer. Best offer is great for the impression to sales ratio that we we're talking about earlier on. How many times your your item sells in the search results to how many times it sells. So if you if you got an item listed for say I don't know. $50 and it's cost you say $20 and someone offers you say $30 if you take it it kick starts the Cassini search engine you've got another sale for your amount of impressions and something that's a great thing to do especially with a brand new item it's got, eBay's got no history if someone offers you just $20 what you paid for it take it because you've got a sale so it's done X amount of impressions and now it's got a sale so it's a great way of kick starting products and also keep them rolling so don't just think, oh, this person's getting it at cost price. Think, oh, it's kickstarting the whole thing again and away it goes again. Cassini, it goes in waves and just realise it does go in waves. You get a load of sales, go quiet. A load of sales, goes quiet. And the reason why is because Cassini is, is endeavouring to show everyone's listings. So just accept it. Think, oh, God, it's gone quiet today. Don't worry about it. Um, so the kickstart, yep. Yeah. Correct category. Now, what a lot of people do is they think there's a lot more traffic in a particular category, which is not their category, so they stick their listing in there. Now, with Cassini, it, it really hurts you because of the impression to sale ratio. So you list this thing in the wrong category, you get a zillion impressions, but not, not many people buy it because it's in the wrong category. And you just get forced down and down and down and down. So the correct category is critical now, even more than it used to be. And you think category is really off of that. Because I, Sorry. Um, until now, I still can't find the correct category for my products. Yeah, look, well, it, it, it can be tough, you know. And you, all you can do is test. Could I choose others? Oh, and others, and yeah, others bad. 